Hello viewers, you're welcome to IDC Learning Center YouTube channel. For today's video, we'll be looking at challenging math word problems. So, we are going to be doing or be looking at the thinking part of mathematics. Let's look at the very first question. There were 60 birds on three trees. Then six birds flew away from the first tree. Eight birds flew away from the second tree, and four birds flew away from the third tree. Now, there are the same number of birds on each tree. How many birds were there on the second tree in the beginning? For any word problem like this, it is always encouraging to bring out a numerical value. So there were 60 birds on three trees. Total number of birds is 60. Okay, we have 60 birds. Now, let's think a bit. We have um, three trees. Let this be the first one. Let this be the second one. And let this be the third tree. From the first one, according to the question, six birds flew away, minus six. From the second, eight birds flew away, minus eight. From the third, four birds flew away, minus four. Remember, we have 60 birds. So, how many birds will be remaining? 60 minus six that flew from the first tree, Minus 8 from the second, minus 4 from the third. 60 minus 6, that's 50, 54. 54 minus 8, that's 46. Minus 4, that's um, 42. Right? So, 60 minus 6 minus 8, subtract 6, 8, 4 from 60. You'll be left with 42. To check if you are right, 6 plus 4, 10 plus 8, 18. 42 plus 18 will give me back 60. If you look at this question, it says, Now, there are the same number of birds on each tree. So, this remainder distributes it equally among the three trees. So, I'm going to divide by 3 since you have 3 trees. 3 in total, 4. 4 divided by 3 is 1, remainder 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Right now, after we've subtracted the birds that flew away from the first, second, and third tree, we are left with 42, which is, since they are equal number of birds, 14, 14, and 14, we give me 42. The question is, how many birds were there on the second tree in the beginning? In the beginning, we have 14. Now, plus the 8 that flew away, the right answer is 22. Hope this makes sense. Okay, let's look at the next question. You can always go back and look at this word problem again. Question 2. That's me. Mr. Mark received a container of fresh eggs. He sold one third of the eggs in the morning. In the morning, he sold one over three and sold 320 eggs in the afternoon in the afternoon he sold 320 eggs he found that one over four of the eggs were not sold how many okay not sold let it be ns equal to one over four how many eggs did he receive in the beginning now, this question has to do with fraction. What you must know is that for fraction, one represents everything. So let one represent the total number of eggs he received in the beginning. So one is equal to everything they hold. So what was sold in the morning plus what was sold in the afternoon plus what was left, what was remaining, must be equal to 1, since I said that for fraction, 
one means everything. Now, one over three is a fraction. One over four is a fraction. But 320 is a quantity, so we must find out what fraction does 320 represent. So we'll move, collect like this, move one over four to the right to meet one, then move one over three to the right so that we can solve for 320. 320 will be equal to one minus one over four as it crosses to the right, minus one over three as it crosses to the right. So 320 equal to the LCM is 12. 1 into 12 is 12 minus 4 into 12 is 3. 3 times 1, 3 minus 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 1, 4. 320 will give us 12 minus 3. Yeah, 12 minus 3 is um 9. 9 minus 4. 5 over 12. So if 5 over 12 is 320, what then is 1? Since I said that 1 means whole oh, everything. The 1 will definitely be more. Since 1 will be more, we divide by the less. Alright, so that brings us to the final step. So 1 divide by the less, which is um, 5 over 12 times 320 will give me everything okay so we use uh, we keep one keep chain flip flip 12 over 5 times 320 will give me everything 5 year 1 5 into 32 is 6 remember the 2 into 20 is 4 so 64 5 into 320 is 64 64 times 12 will give us the final answer 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 6 is 12, 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 6 is 6. So my answer will be 8, 4 plus 2 is 6, 7 plus 1 is 7. 768 eggs is what was there in the beginning. You can gently go back a bit and follow through if you unstop. Question 3. A public library charges a fine of 15 naira per week each time a book is brought lit. A book means one book. So one book each time is brought lit per week will cost 15 naira per week. If the books are two, two books, it will cost 15 times 2, 30 naira per week. What do they want us to do? The question says, what was the total fine if one book was 6 weeks late? So one book will be times 6, and two books were 5 weeks late. Two books will be times 5. So 15 times 6 will give me 19 naira, and 30 times 5 will give me 115 error. So the total amount this person would pay 150 plus 90 will give me 214 error. That is the answer. Question 4 says There were 400 members in a chess club last year. The number of members decreased by 5% this year. How many members are there in the chess club this year? In mathematics, the original number is always 100%. So let these 400 members, which is the original number, be 100%. 100% equal to 400. Now, it was decreased by 5%. So the new members will be 100%, the original number minus 5%. Remember, the question says it was decreased by 5%. New members will be 95%. 95% is less than 100%, so the new uh, members will be less than 400. Since there will be less, if less, you divide by the more. So, it will give me 95 divided by the more, 95% divided by 100% times 400 will give me my answer. Percentage symbol cancels, percentage symbol. These two zeros cancels, these two zeros. 
So my answer will be 95 times 4. 4 times 5 is 20, zero carry 2. 4 times 9, 36 plus 2 is 38, 380 members. You can see the decrease there. Question number 5. This question says, A woman sold oranges at 8 Naira each. Each means 1. So if someone wants to buy one one, the woman will sell it for its Naira as retail. But if someone wants to get dozen, the woman will sell it for 90 Naira. So the question says, by how much is the cost of one orange reduced for the person who buys in, dozen, in dozens? They said the cost of one orange. So if you buy in dozen, dozen is 12, you pay 19 Naira. If you want to buy same 12 and you are buying one one, it will be 8 times 12. That means you pay more. You pay 96 Naira. That means you are going to pay 6 Naira extra. If you are buying 12, one, one. But the question says, by how much is the cost of one orange reduced? So, you have to, since the difference is 6 Naira, out of 12, because you are dealing with um, dozen, 12 items, this will give you an answer. 6 year, two, six year 1, 6 into 12, 2. That's half Naira. And half Naira is the same thing as 50 Kobo. Question 6. Mary leaves one whole number three over four miles from school. She rode a bicycle to school and back each day for five days. Take notes. Find the total number of miles she rode. She leaves one three over four mi miles from school. So that means to and fro. She rode a bicycle to school and back. To get to the school and come back, we mean 1, 3 over 4 times 2. Turn this to improper fraction. 4 times 1, 4 plus 3, 7 over 4 times 2, 3 year 1, 2 year 2. So she will cover 7 over 2 miles to get to the school and the back. In 5 days, the total number of miles she will cover, you multiply this by 5. 7 times 5 is 35 miles. Now divide by 2. two 3 divide by 2. 1 remainder 1. 15 divide by 2. It's 7 and a half miles. Is the total number of miles she wrote? Question 7. A bag of marbles can be shared equally among 3, 5, or 6 students with none left over. What's the least amount of marbles that can be in the bag? What is the least amount of marbles that can be in the bag? Now, in mathematics, whenever this word is used, least, or synonyms like smallest, lowest, etc., just do LCM. So to get our answer, we simply look for the LCM of 3, 5, and 6. The smallest number that can go is 2. 2 into 3, 3. 2 into 5, 5. 6 divided by 2, 3. 3 can go now. 3 divided by 3, 1. So 5, 5 into 3, 1. 5 can go now. 5 here, 1, 1, 1. So LCM will simply be 2 times 3 times 5. 2 times 3, 6. 6 times 5, 13. So the least amount of marbles that can be in the bag is 30. Question 8. An 800 car parking lot is divided into three sections. There are 270 spots in session 1 and 150 more in session 2 than session 3. How many spots are in session 2? Let's break this down. The parking lots. Can contain 800 cars. Session 1.
can take 270 spots. That means session 2 and 3. We take the remaining. We take um, session 2 and 3, we take 800, which is the total parking slot, minus the um, speed session 1 we take, which is 270. 0, pick 1, yes, 7, 10, minus 7, 3. That's 530. This 530 is for session 2 and 3. But then the question says that, and 150 more in session 2. Remove the more. Remember, I said this 530 is for session 2 and 3. Minus the more, which is 150. 0, borrow 1 from 5, 4. Put it here, 13 minus 5, 8. 4 minus 1, so 380. So if if you divide 380 equally, let's say session 2, session 3, each of them gets 190. Each session 3 gets 190. Remember, we removed the more before we divided. So add the more to session 2. Since session 3 is 150 more, so this is 0. 9 plus 5 is 4. Carry 1. This is 3. So session 2 has... Program 40, and that's the answer. Question number 9. If there are 150 people born in the world every minute, how many are born every day? One day is equal to 24 hours. How many minutes is in 24 hours? 60. Multiply by 60 to find out. 0, 0, 6 times 4, 24, 4 carry 2, 6 times 2, 12 plus 2, 14. So we have 1, 4, 4, 0 minutes in a day. So if there are 150 people born in the world every minute, how many are born in a day? We now multiply 1, 4, 4, 0 by 150. So multiply with 0, you get zeros. Multiply 5 times 0, 0, 5 times 4, 20, 0, carry 2, 5 times 4, 20, plus 2, 22, 2, carry 2, 5 times 1, 5, plus 2, 7, you go to 1, 1 times 0, 0, 1 times 4, 4, 1 times 4, 4, 1 times 4, 1, 1. Sum this, you have 0, 0, 0, 6, 11, put 1, here 2. The answer will be 216,000. Question 10. A salesman sold twice as much pears in the afternoon than in the morning. If he sold 360 kilometers of pears that day, how many kilograms did he sell in the morning and how many in the afternoon? If, let's use algebra, in the morning this person sold X, the question says that in the afternoon he sold twice as much, afternoon will be 2X. If he sold 360 kilograms of pear that day, that means what he sold in the morning eggs plus what he sold in the afternoon will give us 360 kilograms. How many kilograms did he sell in the morning and how many in the afternoon? X plus 2X will give me 3X. 3X equal to 360 kilograms. Now divide both sides by 3. 3 year 1, 3 year 1. 301, 3 to 360 is 120. I've gotten X. Remember, X stands for money. In the morning, he sold 120 kg. In the afternoon, twice as many. We mean um, afternoon, 2 times 120, which is 0, 4, 2. That's 240 kg. That's the answer. If you sum both of them, you get back your 360 kilograms. Thank you very much for staying with me. I want you to use this word problem to challenge your loved ones, your pupils in your class, and even challenge yourself. And keep supporting IDC Learning Center YouTube channel. More interesting videos like this are coming your way. Kindly subscribe if you've not done so and share this video.